Oh, didn't even wait until we'd introduce ourselves to crack it. Yeah, welcome to another Schooner and Hop beer review. We're sitting here today with Young Henry's Foo Town Lager. Uh, we're yep. obviously big. Well, he's a bigger oh, fan of massive, the Fooies. Massive Fooies fan. Uh, I just like rock music. Yeah, structured and that's what like they do pop well. Songs. Yep. And that's who the Foo Fighters are. And here is a beer with their name on it. And goddamn. So yeah, naturally we had to try it. I hadn't tried it before. I don't think you had either. Uh, once, once actually, because I had a six pack here, well, and I had one. You're lucky. This. I've, I'm rude. just familiar with Young Henry's. I've tried their, uh, which, what is it? The Australian Pale Ale before. Hmm. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I can't nice. say that I've tried anything else of theirs, but I've had their Motorcycle yeah. Oil Hoppy Porter. No, oh, have you? Recommended oh, to I me before. I recommended it. I thought you just said you'd had it then. I was like, what? We discussed um, this. So yeah, I think we should probably get more of their stuff. But yeah. uh, And we should crack our cans, eh? We should crack... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna <laughs> just gonna use that sound. All right, let's have a taste. All right, let's have a taste of this. This this is good. All righty, it's refreshing. I'd already tried since I'd already tried up. one the yeah, the other night, just on Sunday, and it's Thursday. Might have even been Sunday last week. I don't remember. I really liked it then. I was really impressed because it said lager. Um, typically, when you think Australian lagers, you don't think anything that great. Yeah, um, you can think of some kind of. Dirty, kind of coppery, tinny flavours. Yeah, what did I say? Uh, it's clean, it's so unlike regular Australian lagers, like we just said, dirty, uh, bitterness at the end, a bit mm -hmm. coppery. This is so damn clean. Um, it's got a little bit of bitter, bitterness, but it's a clean, bitter finish. Yeah. Um, but I guess we've also said, we we're also saying before this video, it's a, um, it's a craft lager. It is a craft um, lager, so obviously. So that's the big difference there. People care about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're not yeah, just. It's not just mass produced. They're yeah, actually, they're not just feeding people yeah. trash because they know it sells. Who? Yeah, yeah, they know that it sells because. Yeah. I know my dad didn't drink this. <laughs> no, and my dad drinking something isn't necessarily mm. a reason for me to go drink you know a beer. My dad didn't drink it either, but he also lived in Europe, so. That's a pretty good that reason for it to makes drink it harder to, likes. It makes it harder to drink um, <laughs> Australian lagers when you live over there. Yeah, maybe they sell Fosters. I don't know. Oh, they would. Yeah. Definitely, Every definitely. Outside of this that. country sells it. So yeah, basically clean flavors all the way mm. through. Yep. Uh, there's an incredible, just fruity hot yeah. flavor in the great, middle of it. Great that is fruit. Just it's it's awesome. It's delicious. It yep. just pops through, which is unlike a lager, which is yeah. like what we said. It makes it a craft, craft lager. lager. Yeah. And yeah, it's just nice to have that sitting in between these classic quintessential lager flavors. Yeah, it's just a cool. It's a cool shift up that makes you really enjoy it, and it makes it something different. I said to uh, Corey before, this is where I want Australian lagers to go. Like this, and uh, Corey might not agree with my Furfy, but um, this and the Furfy Refreshing Ale, I think if we can get lagers that taste like that on Australian taps worldwide, worldwide? On Australian taps worldwide, I think that'll Let's be... Let's go worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. Yeah. worldwide. Australian taps can be the other side of the world, can't they? Sure. Yeah. This is the tap is from here. It's like, yeah, beer Australian taps. Or yeah. Australian beer Australian beer taps, even. Yeah. Yeah. I was making a point. And uh, I tripped all over it. <laughs> I did well. <laughs> um, no, I think this would be a great place for um, for Australian lagers to go. And it's also a great place for Australian lager drinkers to go. If they're... Definitely. Well, to, to even bridge into the craft craft beer scene. This is this one, Furphy, and a few other... Um, even... What am I trying to say? Even a few other pale ales would mm. be great. Yeah, I know we've said a lot of different Australian pale ales would be a great place to mm. start yeah. for, say, uh, the people that don't really enjoy drinking craft beers as such. Yeah. I Between all that, until now, I kind of realized, well, craft lagers exist. A lot of yeah. these uh, breweries make lagers. I think it's just maybe not the most obvious thing you get. It's especially a... when you're looking for a craft beer. You don't pick up a lager. No. I, you, you go I for a pale or you go for I'm an IPA, you know. I'm thinking the crazy kind of out yeah. there, hoppy, experimental yep. stuff. Yep. I guess I really did forget about just a classic... Just a classic lager. Lager. Yep. And that's what and this is. And it's it's mint. It, it doesn't is. taste like mint, but it's mint. It's bloody good. And it's nice. It's just okay. nice to have something that's refreshing, but still offers a yep. flavor hit. So... It's bloody sessionable, clearly. Yeah, it definitely is. You um, could... They say beers are Moorish, 
this is Moorish. Like I, I'm always keen to go back for another sip of this. Mm-hmm. Just absolutely, and because uh, yeah, you're not met with a dirty lager. There's really no harsh finish. flavors, I guess. There's nothing that would turn you off it, and maybe that's a turnoff for some people because they might want something that's a bit more. A bit I suppose if you're yeah, if you're maybe a uh, craft beer enthusiast, uh, this might not be your cup of tea. It's, it's not even a cup of tea for anyone, actually. No. If you're drinking this like a cup of tea, I wouldn't recommend it. But you know what? Try it and let us know what it's like. Yeah. What a plug. Good. <laughs> Drink beer as tea. Tea tea drinkers around the world are rejoicing. <laughs> We're finally getting our as... time in the spotlight. <laughs> Beat the mismatch for both of us. If you watch that episode, um, you know, most things are probably going to beat it for us. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely, that's very bold, yeah. but I... I'm predicting it'll probably just, be at the bottom I'd, by the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. Unless Which, um, we happen to bring in some sour beers, <laughs> you never know. Uh, I reckon. Who we knows probably what's on the will. horizon? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. We probably we got. We have to try it eventually. Yeah, we're just putting it off. <sighs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, yeah, so it'd be the mismatch for both of us. For you, it didn't go above the Kosciuszko. That didn't go above. Yeah, not even really for any reason that I could define clearly yeah. other than I guess I would just rather have yeah. the Kosciuszko than this and you know what man that's all the reason you need that is all the reason know. you need so but out yeah. of everything on our list I would hit it again apart from mm. the mismatch I, I would definitely go for this again yeah just everything above it is obviously more of what I prefer yeah well yeah like and that's kind of at least where it stands in my ranking because Everything else there are just things that I would prefer, Mm -hmm. and this isn't ranked lower because it's necessarily bad, just the whole ranking thing is our personal taste. That's that's exactly right. But, you know, sometimes... Nothing professional about about it, we're just like, you know what, we like this, so that's what we put up there. Um, The only reason it went above the Kosciuszko is, like you're saying, you go back for it. Like, I would go back for this over uh, Kosciuszko. Yeah, all the others that are above it, like the Twisted Palm, the Stone of Wood, the uh, Bolter XPA, and the Goose Session IPA. I'd go for all those. Mm-hmm. I've gone back Definitely. to the Bolter XPA quite a lot. Nice. In fact, after our review, I bought a carton of it. Yeah, there we go. That's how good it was. And Our review. Look at that driving business. Yeah, so, Young Henry's, um, we want to try more of their stuff. Like Corey said, he's already, if, a while ago, tried their pale. They've been around since 2012, apparently met some pretty good feedback and had trouble keeping up with their demand. Mm. And like most modern countries, they're uh, conscious of reducing their environmental impact. Uh, they like to sell things in glass grillers that can be reused. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. Working in a bar, I know how much plastic gets around. Um, we do our best at uh, where I'm at to like recycle that, but you know, it, it's, it's, there's, there's only uh, so much you can do on the plastic front. Um, so it's cool to have... Have breweries be like that these days, and very, uh, very, uh, yeah, or garbage conscious, yeah, even, yeah, yeah. That's and that's cool. They also like to collaborate, which I guess you can tell, because yeah. that's a collaboration. As long as you share their passion, um, so I guess if you share their passion, and you, I think they're in Sydney, they are um, in Sydney. There we go. They're they in are Sydney, new town. That would make sense. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Clearly you did your research. Oh, I read something about Sydney, but then I also read something about Melbourne because I was literally just reading up, up about this um, and it was about the release of it. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah. if in one paragraph, how could you summarize this beer? Oh, in one paragraph, you say, I would say it's times like these that my ever long love of beer learns to fly. But honestly, these days I should have known that a Foo Fighters beer would be the best of you. Lagers. West Schooner and Hop. Cheers. Cheers. Ding.